An 82-year-old black female with history of hypertension and recent diagnosis of diabetes mellitus, she denied any illicit habits. Presented to the hospital for three weeks of abdominal pain, weight loss and early satiety. CT imaging demonstrated a 3 cm pancreatic body mass. The patient was scheduled for an EUS with general anesthesia. In our department, the general diagnostic algorithm used for EUS is started always with a complete evaluation under EGD. This revealed a challenging esophageal intubation at the oropharynx requiring mild forward pressure and deflation of the threatal calf in order to pass the adult endoscope and neck position changes. Passage of the EUS into the stomach proved impossible. For this reason, the echoendoscope was removed and a gastric overtube was placed onto the oropharynx and through the esophagus under direct visualization with the adult endoscope. Several tubes are available for the use in therapeutic endoscopy. We used a gastric overtube, Wardus overtube, esophageal, inner diameter 16.7 mm, outer diameter 19.5 mm, 50 cm of length, US endoscopy, Ohio, USA. For the correct use of overtube, we should follow some different steps. A. Generously lubricate all pieces of OT with gel and water. If you use only water, this might not be enough. B. Load and lock the inner tube inside the outer tube. C. Assemble the OT onto the endoscope. Be sure that the top of the endoscope advances forward the top of the overtube. D. Advance the endoscope through the stenosis. E. Advance the OT passed forward over the endoscope. F. Remove inner OT and the endoscope. G. And finally, lock the outer tube with a feathered insufflation cap. After appropriate positioning of the over tube, the EUS was successfully placed within the lumen of the over tube through the feathered insufflation cap, enabling EUS identification of a hypoechoic. 28 times 24 mm pancreatic tail mass that involved splenic vein but not affected neither SMA nor celiac tract. Then, three pasts of FNA with 25G needle were performed under echoendoscope guidance and without immediately secondary events. A total of 14 slides for immediately examination were obtained. In order to improve the quality of the unit, all the cytopathology samples were in situ studied, and the first pass were positive to adenocarcinoma with additional sample reserved for cell block analysis. This demonstrates the successful use of an overtube to assist safe passage of larger, difficult to manipulate endoscopes without forward view through esophageal stenosis in order to obtain a diagnosis. This additional step reduces the need for repeating procedures, delays in diagnosis, or inferior sampling techniques such as CT-guided biopsies. As technique highlights, we recommend to 1. Take care and lubricate all their surfaces as much as possible with water and gel. 2. Perform normal EUS, taking care not to provoke interferences from OT on image and withdraw the overtube when this appears. And three, take care to be out of the OT before performing FNA.